Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Dutch ebook before it's gone. Most people who learn a foreign language learn it so that they can one day have real life conversations with native speakers. When you start out learning and crack open your first textbook or listen to your first podcast, having a real conversation can feel like a fantasy. When everything about a language feels new, it can be overwhelming. But this couldn't be further from the truth. While it does take a significant amount of time and effort to become fluent, having a conversation might not be as far off as you think. In this video, we'll look at three ways you can boost your conversational skills and start talking to native speakers. Number one, find native speakers and practice with them. It's unlikely you live near a big group of native speakers to practice with. If you happen to be in a major or international city, your chances may be better. Check and see if your city has a general language exchange. Chances are there could be a native speaker there who is also trying to learn another language. Practicing in person with a native speaker is probably the most interesting option for honing your speaking skills. But if you can't find anyone where you live, the next best option is to look online. Luckily for language learners, the past 10 years or so have seen an explosion in online language exchange sites. On these websites, you can search for someone who is a native speaker of your target language and is also learning your native language. The idea behind a language exchange is that you communicate with them via video or text chat, and half of the time, they help you practice your target language, and for the other half, you help them practice theirs. Practicing via an online language exchange is a highly effective way to practice your conversational skills. Number two, work on pronunciation. Pronunciation is often an overlooked skill when it comes to learning a foreign language. Most people think of a good foreign accent as a luxury rather than a necessity. But what most people don't talk about is how having a good accent boosts your listening and comprehension skills. If you can hear a sound from a foreign language and know how to make it yourself, then you're more likely to understand native speakers when they talk at normal speed, and you're also more likely to remember any new words or phrases you come across. Having a good accent means that the language no longer sounds foreign. Instead, it sounds familiar, maybe even natural. So how do you go about perfecting your accent? The best way is to break down the language into its individual sounds. Make note of any sounds that are the same or similar to your native language and of those that are different. Of the sounds that are different, spend your time practicing the ones that you find the hardest to say correctly. After you're comfortable with the individual sounds, you can start linking together words and phrases. This is where accent practice starts to get really fun and interesting. Get your hands on some native speaker audio from a TV show, song, or podcast. Play the audio back and listen closely a few times. Take note of how words blend together in speech. Then, do your best to imitate what you hear, trying to match the speaker's emphasis and intonation. Our language learning program's playback feature is perfect for this. Record yourself and compare it to the original recording. Rinse and repeat until you're comfortable with the audio selection, and then move on to something more difficult. This is how you can break through the accent barrier and really start to make the language your own. Number three, learn phrases, not just individual words. Learning grammar and in individual words is great, but it's not the only approach you should take if you want to speak fluently. In addition to your regular grammar and vocabulary, try learning whole phrases, even if you aren't totally sure how they work grammatically. Learn phrases that are specific to your needs. It's a good idea to learn phrases that are grouped around a certain setting or subject, such as simple greetings or introductions, questions for getting to know someone, or traveling comfortably. You can even learn filler phrases, which you can use so that you have something to say when, well, you don't know what to say. Learning phrases like this will help you become conversational faster. You may not understand what you're saying literally, but as long as you know the general meaning behind the phrase and know when to use it, you'll be able to talk like a native. Eventually, your knowledge of grammar and vocabulary should catch up with the phrases you know. Learning a new language should feel like an adventure. There will be plateaus and periods in your learning where it feels like you're hitting a wall, but being able to speak with native speakers and have real conversations will help you combat language fatigue. After all, talking to someone face-to-face -face in a foreign language is one of the main reasons we start learning in the first place. 
And for even more ways to gain conversation skills, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Goedemiddag. Mijn bagage is niet aangekomen. Kunt u mij helpen? Ja, ik zal mijn best doen. Wat is het vluchtnummer? UA315, vanuit New York. We zijn twee uur geleden geland. Ik ga voor u bellen. Een ogenblikje, alstublieft. En, is er nieuws? Ja, uw bagage was in New York vergeten, maar zit al op het volgende vliegtuig. Kunt u het naar ons hotel laten brengen? Natuurlijk. Mag ik uw adres en onze excuses voor het ongemak? Now you will hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Bagage. Luggage. Bagage. Bagage. Aangekomen. Arrived. Aange Komen. Aangekomen. Best doen. To try to do one's best. Best doen. Best doen. Geleden. Ago. Geleden. Geleden. Zoek geraakt. To get or be lost. Zoek geraakt. Zoek geraakt. Volgende. Next. Volgende. Volgende. Ongemak. Inconvenience. Ongemak. Ongemak. Excuses. Apologies. Excuses. Excuses. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Goedemiddag. Mijn bagage is niet aangekomen. Kunt u mij helpen? Ja, ik zal mijn best doen. Wat is het vluchtnummer? UA315, vanuit New York. We zijn twee uur geleden geland. Ik ga voor u bellen. Een ogenblikje, alstublieft. En, is er nieuws? Ja, uw bagage was in New York vergeten, maar zit al op het volgende vliegtuig. Kunt u het naar ons hotel laten brengen? Natuurlijk. Mag ik uw adres en onze excuses voor het ongemak? This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. 
So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Neemt u mij niet kwalijk. Kunt u ons alstublieft zeggen hoe we bij restaurant het pannenkoekenhuis komen? Ja, natuurlijk. Dat is heel makkelijk. Wilt u de bus nemen of anders lopen? Liever met de bus. Neem bus nummer 24 en vraag aan de chauffeur om u te waarschuwen bij de grote markt. Kunt u dat even opschrijven? Ja, natuurlijk. Op de grote markt ziet u naast de kerk een grote winkelstraat. Die loopt u in. Na 200 meter ziet u het restaurant aan uw linkerkant. Hartelijk dank. Graag gedaan en een prettige maaltijd. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Neemt u mij niet kwalijk? Please excuse me. Neemt u mij niet kwalijk? Neemt u mij niet kwalijk? Pannenkoek. Pancake. Pannenkoek. Pannenkoek. Makkelijk. Easy. Makkelijk. Makkelijk. Nemen. To take. Nemen. Nemen. Lopen. To walk. Lopen. Lopen. Waarschuwen. To warn. Waarschuwen. Waarschuwen. Winkelstraat. Shopping street. Winkelstraat. Winkelstraat. Linkerkant. Left side. Linkerkant. Linkerkant. Graag gedaan. My pleasure. You're welcome. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Neemt u mij niet kwalijk. Kunt u ons alstublieft zeggen hoe we bij restaurant het pannenkoekenhuis komen? Ja, natuurlijk. Dat is heel makkelijk. Wilt u de bus nemen of anders lopen? Liever met de bus. Neem bus nummer 24 en vraag aan de chauffeur om u te waarschuwen bij de grote markt. Kunt u dat even opschrijven? Ja, natuurlijk. Op de grote markt ziet u naast de kerk een grote winkelstraat. Die loopt u in. Na 200 meter ziet u het restaurant aan uw linkerkant. Hartelijk dank. Graag gedaan en een prettige maaltijd. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. 
words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Hi there, and welcome to this Dutch class. My name is Stella, and today we're going to talk about some different phrases uh, that you can use to amaze native speakers of the Dutch language. Are you ready? Let's go! Dank je, maar eigenlijk ben ik geen native speaker. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. After this class, um, people automatically assume that you're a native speaker, and then you can baffle them with this sentence. Dank je, maar eigenlijk ben ik geen native speaker. Dank je, maar eigenlijk ben ik geen native speaker. Thank you, but I'm actually not a native speaker. Um, so make sure this comes out completely fluent, uh, because you don't want to ruin the effect. Um, so did you notice that um, the Dutch verb for native speaker is just native speaker borrowed from the English? That ought to make it a little bit easier for you. Ik had maar een jaar nodig om er fluent in te worden. It only took me one year to become fluent. Next sentence. Ik had maar een jaar nodig om er fluent in te worden. Ik had maar een jaar nodig om er vloeiend in te worden. And this means, it only took me one year to become fluent. Now don't feel bad if this is not true. Um, Dutch is a notoriously difficult language to master, so it will probably take anyone more than a year. Ik spreek in drie jaar tijd Nederlands als een native speaker. I'll speak Dutch like a native speaker in three years. This one is a touch more realistic. Ik spreek in drie jaar tijd Nederlands als een native speaker. Ik spreek in drie jaar tijd Nederlands als een native speaker. So this sentence is said like it's like a New Year's resolution, right? So if you want to say that it has already happened, um, then you should use the past tense. So you would say, ik sprak in drie jaar tijd, uh, instead of um, ik spreek. Ik ben al tien jaar Nederlands aan het leren. I've been learning Dutch for ten years. Uh, this next one is for everyone who feels that it's going to take some more time. Ik ben al tien jaar Nederlands aan het leren. Ik ben al tien jaar Nederlands aan het leren. I've been learning Dutch for ten years. So to be honest, um, even native Dutch speakers make mistakes. Um, I've been learning Dutch for 27 years. Uh, it's a hard language, guys, so don't feel bad. Ik kan Nederlandse films zonder ondertiteling kijken. I can watch Dutch movies without subtitles. Here's one that's a true accomplishment, and it's with, within reach. Ik kan Nederlandse films zonder ondertiteling kijken. Ik kan Nederlandse films zonder ondertiteling kijken. And this means, I can watch Dutch movies without subtitles. Um, now, the only question remaining is, why would you want to watch Dutch movies? I'm um, just kidding. There's one movie that I really do uh, like and can recommend, and it's called Minus. Um, the story is by Annie M. G. Schmidt, uh, and it has Caris van Halte in it. So it's a really great movie. About a woman who's actually a cat, I think. Ik kan ongeveer 50 nieuwe Nederlandse woorden per dag onthouden. I can memorize around 50 new Dutch words a day. Next phrase. Ik kan ongeveer 50 nieuwe Nederlandse woorden per dag onthouden. Ik kan ongeveer 50 nieuwe Nederlandse woorden onthouden. I can memorize around 50 new Dutch words a day. 
So if that's really true, then I applaud you. 50 words is a lot to remember in one day. Nederlands is leuk en makkelijk te leren. Dutch is fun and easy to learn. Nederlands is leuk en makkelijk te leren. Nederlands is leuk en makkelijk te leren. Dutch is fun and easy to learn. Now, to be completely honest, I don't agree with this. Um, I feel it's disheartening to say that any language is easy to learn. Um, I mean, sure, we're trying to make it as easy as we can for you, um, but it takes a lot of hard work and also it really depends on what language you're coming from. Like, if you already speak German or something, it'll be a lot easier. Um, so, ho however hard or easy you think it is, go you, and uh, you're doing great. Naast het Nederlands kan ik ook nog een paar andere talen spreken. Apart from Dutch, I can speak a few other languages as well. Naast het Nederlands kan ik ook een paar andere talen spreken. Naast het Nederlands kan ik ook een paar andere talen spreken. Apart from Dutch, I can speak a few other languages as well. So if you're watching this, um, you at least speak English fairly well and probably a little Dutch by now. Um, so good job. And if you don't feel that that's enough, uh, I can recommend Swedish. It's a pretty language. Ik leer Nederlands helemaal zelf. I'm learning Dutch all by myself. Ik leer Nederlands helemaal zelf. Ik leer Nederlands helemaal zelf. I'm learning Dutch all by myself. If you are, don't do that. Um, the key to any language is communication. Uh, and really listening and speaking with others would really help you learning this language. So whenever you can, try to practice your listening and speaking skills with a buddy who's also learning Dutch, or even better, with a Dutch native speaker. Um, so studying by yourself is impressive, but learning with a friend is faster and more fun. So try to find someone to study with. Ik begreep alles van wat je zei. I completely understood everything you said. Now, if things are going really well, and someone is unsure about your Dutch skills, um, you can say this. Ik begreep alles van wat je zei. Ik begreep alles van wat je zei. I completely understood everything you said. Um, so Dutch people will switch to English when they uh, think that maybe um, it's easier for you. So to prevent them from doing that, um, make sure you can say the sentence so you can practice your listening skills and speaking skills too, maybe. So congratulations on finishing this lesson in 10 phrases you can use to amaze native Dutch speakers with. Um, thank you for watching. If there's anything you want to know uh, more about, let me know in the comments. Um, remember to subscribe. If you want to learn more Dutch, you can go to dutchpod101.com. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to this next Dutch lesson where we will talk about the must-know phrases in Dutch. My name is Stella and I will be teaching you some very useful basic phrases in Dutch today. So let's get started. The first word of the day is Hallo. Hello. Hallo. Hello. So as you can see the standard Dutch greeting is very similar to the English one. Um, now if you feel like mixing it up a little bit you can also say Hoi. Uh, which is our version of hey, and it's slightly more informal. Now, if you want to be a little less casual, for example, if you arrive at work in the morning, um, you could say this. Goedemorgen. Good morning. Goedemorgen. Goedemorgen. Now, if you want to be a little less casual, for example, if you arrive at work in the morning, you could say this. Goedemorgen. Goedemorgen. Good morning. You can also say this to anyone else you meet in the morning, um, for example, in a shop or the person you wake up next to. If it's in the afternoon, you could say this. Goedemiddag. Good afternoon. Goedemiddag. Goedemiddag. This one is much more formal than uh, Goedemorgen, 
Um, in the Netherlands, you can say goedemorgen to anyone, but goedemiddag is really only used when starting a conversation with someone you don't know. For example, at the supermarket or at the beginning of a phone call. Goedenavond. Good evening. Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Good evening. This one is pretty formal. You do best to only use it, for example, when entering a restaurant or something like that. Hoe heet u? What's your name? Who heet u? Who heet u? What's your name? Bear in mind that the Dutch have a formal U, which is U, and an informal U, which is Je. So if you're asking a child um, or a classmate what his or her name is, you should probably go with Who heet je? Now, after learning someone's name, you will likely be asked um, to say yours, to which you could say Ik ben I'm Ik ben Enter your name here. So in my case, it would be Ik ben Stella. Ik ben Stella. I'm Stella. It's just your basic introduction. After you've both stated your names, uh, you'll likely shake hands and say something like this. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Nice to meet you. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Leuk je te ontmoeten. Nice to meet you. Now remember the difference between je and u. Um, if you're meeting a new client at work, uh, you may want to say leuk u te ontmoeten, just to class it up a bit. Another useful sentence right after our introductions is Hoe gaat het? How are you? Hoe gaat het? Hoe gaat het? How are you? It's a nice way to get to know a little bit about the other person, if they feel like sharing. Most of the time, though, they will probably just say that they're fine and leave it at that. And that would sound like this. Het gaat prima, dank je. En met jou? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Het gaat prima, dank je. En met jou? Het gaat prima, dank je. En met jou? I'm fine, thanks. And you? So when people ask you this, it's probably better not to launch into a 15-minute speech about how you are really doing. Um, keep it short and to the point. Now, here comes one that's rather ambiguous. Alstublieft. Please. Alstublieft. Alstublieft. Please. First of all, when saying this to someone you know well, um, say alsjeblieft. Je, u, remember? Um, but whichever one you use, it can also mean here you go. Um, so you say it when you're, when you're asking someone for something, uh, but also when handing it over. It's pretty confusing, right? Crazy Dutchies. When someone hands you something, um, or someone has done something nice for you, the polite thing to do is say this. Dank je. Thank you. Dank je. Dank je. Thank you. And again, if you're in a formal situation, say Dank u. Next one is uh, what you say after that. Graag gedaan. You're welcome. Graag gedaan. Graag gedaan. Now this is probably a hard one um, because of the notorious Dutch ch sound. Um, just remember if you pull this off, you'll sound very Dutch indeed. The next two are really short and to the point. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nee. No. Nee. Nee. No. Just your basic yes and no. Use them wisely. The next one is easy. Um, you'll all recognize it immediately. Okay. 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 And of course it means Okay. It's the same word and you can basically spell it any way you like, so go to town. Excuseer. Excuse me. Excuseer. Excuseer. Excuse me. You can say this if you want to pass by someone and you need them to move, for example. The second way to apologize in Dutch is... Het spijt me. I'm sorry. Het spijt me. Het spijt me. I'm sorry. You can also say uh, sorry if you've done a small thing wrong, but if you've really made a mess of things, um, you may want to go all the way and just go with het spijt me. So let's move on to a few short questions. First one is, hoe laat is it? What time is it? Hoe laat is it? Hoe laat is het? What time is it? A literal translation would be, how late is it? Um, but we use this whenever we just want to ask for the time. Waar is het toilet? Where is the restroom? Waar is het toilet? 
Waar is het toilet? Where is the restroom? So I'm sure you recognize the word toilet in there, um, but if you want to sound very Dutch, use WC for water closet. So then you would say, waar is de WC? The next one isn't a question, but a request. Wacht even. Wait a moment. Wacht even. Wacht even. Wait a moment. You can use this if someone um, is talking to you while you're busy, uh, or if you need someone to not move while you grab something from a different aisle, etc. It's a very useful sentence. So if you're in a shop and you want to ask how much something is, you can ask Hoeveel kost dit? How much is this? Hoeveel kost dit? How much is this? So usually when you're in the Netherlands, um, there will be clear price tags on everything. Um, the Dutch don't haggle. If you've eaten at a restaurant uh, and you want to check, say Mag ik de rekening alstublieft? Could I get the check, please? Mag ik de rekening alstublieft? Mag ik de rekening alstublieft? Could I get the check, please? Now remember, um, Dutch people will often split the bill. Um, so if you want to ask for the check, but you don't want to necessarily imply that you'll be the one paying for it, um, you could say, Mogen wij de rekening alstublieft? Which means, um, could we get the check, please? Here's a word you really need to know, um, which you probably already do. Help. 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 It just means help. Sometimes life will throw you a bone. Tot later. See you later. If you're taking leave of someone, um, you can say tot later. Tot later. See you later. You can also just say later. Uh, that's been catching on quickly lately. Here's a slightly more formal version of saying goodbye. Tot ziens. Goodbye. Tot ziens. Tot ziens. Goodbye. You're technically saying the same thing you were earlier. Um, it just means that you'll see each other again. But this is the one you would use in a grocery store. Um, whereas you would say tot later or later to a friend. So that's all for today. Um, these were the must know phrases in Dutch. Uh, if there's anything missing from this list, make sure to tell me in the comments. Um, like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, and if you'd like to learn more Dutch, visit um, dutchpod101.com. Thanks and goodbye. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you will review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Hoe is het weer? Regent het? Nee, geen regen. Mot regen. En is het ook koud? Nee, het is warm en vochtig. Oh, Dan neem ik alleen mijn paraplu mee. Ja, ik ook. Kan je de mijne even aangeven? Is deze paraplu van jou? Alsjeblieft. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Weer. Weather. Weer. Weer. Regen. Rain. Regen. Regen. Motregen. Drizzle. Motregen. Motregen. Warm. 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 Vochtig. Sticky. Vochtig. Vochtig. Paraplu. Umbrella. Paraplu. Paraplu. Mijne. 
mine. May ne. May ne. Fun yow. From you. Fun yow. Fun yow. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Hoe is het weer? Regent het? Nee, geen regen. Mot regen. En is het ook koud? Nee, het is warm en vochtig. Oh, dan neem ik alleen mijn paraplu mee. Ja, ik ook. Kan je de mijne even aangeven? Is deze paraplu van jou? Alsjeblieft. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Dutch. Hi everybody, my name is Thomas. Welcome to the 800 core Dutch words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Dutch. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at dodgepot101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Dutch. Okay, let's get started. First is... Banaan. Banana. Banaan. Banaan. Banana. Ik hou van fruit, vooral van de banaan. I like fruit, especially the banana. Ik hou van fruit, vooral van de banaan. Appel. Apple. Appel. 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 Hoeveel appels heb je? How many apples do you have? Hoeveel appels heb je? Druif. Grape. Druif. Druif. Grape. De druif ziet er erg oud uit. That grape looks pretty old. Die druif ziet er erg oud uit. Watermeloen. Watermelon. Watermeloen. Watermeloen. Watermelon. Zij heeft een enorme watermeloen gekocht. She bought a huge watermelon. Zij heeft een enorme watermeloen gekocht. Vogel. Bird. Vogel. Vogel. Bird. Een vogel in de boom. A bird in the tree. Een vogel in de boom. Muis. 
mouse, 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 mouse. De muis eet gras. De muis is eating grass. De muis eet gras. Zon. Sun. Zon. Zon. Sun. De zon verhit de hete woestijn. The sun is heating the hot desert. De zon verhit de hete woestijn. Weer. Weather. Weer. Weer. Weather. Dit weer is verschrikkelijk. This weather is awful. Dit weer is verschrikkelijk. Graad. Degree. Graad. Graad. Degree. Het is nauwelijks één graad buiten. It is barely one degree outside. Het is nauwelijks één graad buiten. Vrouw. Woman. Vrouw. Vrouw. Woman. De vrouw draagt een zwarte trui. The woman is wearing a black sweater. De vrouw draagt een zwarte trui. Man. Maan. Man. Man. Maan. De directeur is een erg serieuze man. The director is a very serious man. De directeur is een erg serieuze man. Vriendin. Girlfriend. Vriendin. Vriendin. Girlfriend. Mijn vriendin is gek op winkelen. My girlfriend is crazy about shopping. Mijn vriendin is gek op winkelen. Vriend. Boyfriend. Vriend. Vriend. Boyfriend. Mijn vriend is een Canadees. My boyfriend is a Canadian. Mijn vriend is een Canadees. Trein. Train. Trein. Trein. Train. Hoe laat gaat de laatste trein? What time is the last train? Hoe laat gaat de laatste trein? Vliegtuig. Airplane. Vliegtuig. Vliegtuig. Airplane. De passagiers vlogen met een vliegtuig. The passengers flew on an airplane. De passagiers vlogen met een vliegtuig. 
bus, 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 bus. Gaat er even naar het vliegveld een bus naar de stad? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? Gaat er vanaf het vliegveld een bus naar de stad? Taxi. 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 De vrouw stapt in de gele taxi. The woman is getting into the yellow taxi. De vrouw stapt in de gele taxi. Spinazi. Spinach. Spinazi. Spinazi. Spinach. Spinazi is een rijke bron van ijzer en calcium. Spinach is a rich source of iron and calcium. Spinazi is een rijke bron van ijzer en calcium. Dolfijn. Dolphin. Dolfijn. 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 De dolfijn springt uit het water. De dolfijn jumps out of the water. De dolfijn springt uit het water. Inktvis. Squid. Inktvis. Inktvis. Squid. De inktvissen zwemmen bij het koraalrif. The squid are swimming near the coral reef. De inktvissen zwemmen bij het koraal. Riff. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at dodgepod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks and more learning resources. See you next time! Tot ziens! In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Dutch. Hi everybody, my name is Thomas. Welcome to the 800 core Dutch words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Dutch. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at dodgepot101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Dutch. Okay, let's get started. First is hond, dog. Hond, hond, dog. Honden lijken soms op hun baasjes. Dogs sometimes resemble their owners. Honden lijken soms op hun baasjes. Kat. Kat, 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 kat. Mijn kat 
deed vanmiddag een dutje. My cat took a nap this afternoon. Mijn kat deed vanmiddag een dutje. Hamster. 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 Hamsters houden ervan om overdag te slapen. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamsters houden ervan om overdag te slapen. Warm. 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 De soep moet warm zijn. De soep must be warm. De soep moet warm zijn. Regen. Rain. Regen. Regen. Rain. De regen valt op de straat. The rain is falling on the street. De regen valt op de straat. Tomaat. Tomato. Tomaat. Tomaat. Tomato. Is een tomaat een fruit? Of een groente. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Is een tomaat een fruit of een groente? Aardbei. Strawberry. Aardbei. Aardbei. Strawberry. Je kunt het hele jaar door aardbeien kopen, maar ze smaken het best in de zomer. You can buy strawberries all year round, but they taste best in summer. Je kunt het hele jaar door aardbeien kopen, maar ze smaken het best in de zomer. Kers, cherry, kers, kers, cherry. Een populair fruitbier is bier met kersensmaak. Beer with a cherry flavor is a popular kind of fruit beer. Een populair fruitbier is Bier met kersensmaak. Kind. Child. Kind. Kind. Child. Een kind moet iedere dag naar school. A child must go to school every day. Een kind moet iedere dag naar school. Vriend. Friend. Vriend. Vriend. Friend. Een vriend is iemand die je totale vrijheid geeft om jezelf te zijn. A friend is someone who gives you total freedom to be yourself. Een vriend is iemand die je totale vrijheid geeft om jezelf te zijn. Volwassen. Adult. 
volwassen. Volwassen. Adult. Je bent volwassen als je de leeftijd van 18 jaar hebt bereikt. You are an adult when you have reached the age of 18. Je bent volwassen als je de leeftijd van 18 hebt bereikt. Fiets. Bicycle. Fiets. Feet. Bicycle. Die fiets is van haar. That bicycle is hers. Die fiets is van haar. Auto. Car. Auto. O. Car. De auto staat tussen de andere auto's. The car is among the other cars. De auto staat tussen de andere auto's. Motorfiets. Motorcycle. Motorfiets. Motorfiets. Motorcycle. Hij heeft twee auto's en een motorfiets. He has two cars and a motorcycle. Hij heeft twee auto's en een motorfiets. Scooter. 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 Die scooter gaat hard. That scooter goes fast. Die scooter gaat hard. Boot. 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 De boot drijft op het water. The boat floats on the water. De boot drijft op het water. Kwal. Jellyfish. Kwal. Kwal. Jellyfish. De kwallen dobberen in het water. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. De kwallen dobberen in het water. Kreeft. Lobster. Kreeft. Kreeft. Lobster. De kreeft zit op een rots. The lobster is on the rock. De kreeft zit op een rots. Krab. Crab. Krab. 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 Twee krabben lopen over een rots. Two crabs are walking on a rock. Twee krabben lopen over een rots. Schildpad. Turtle. Schildpad. Schildpad. Turtle. De zeeschildpad zwemt in de zee. 
The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. De zee schildpad zwemt in de zee. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at dodgepod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Tot ziens. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Goedemorgen. Ik wil graag iets opsturen per post. Natuurlijk, meneer. Waar moet het naartoe? Naar Amerika. Mag ik het pakket wegen? Ja, natuurlijk. Hier is het. Het weegt 250 gram. Wilt u het gewoon of per snelpost opsturen? Gewoon graag. Dan wordt het 14 euro en 50 cent. Now you will hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Graag. Please. Gladly. Graag. Graag. Opsturen. To send. Op. Sturen. Opsturen. Per. By. Per. 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 Naartoe. Where to? Naartoe. Naartoe. Pakket. Package. Pakket. Pakket. Wegen. To weigh. Wegen. Wegen. Gewoon. Standard. Gewoon. Gewoon. Snelpost. Express. Snelpost. Snelpost. Euro. 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 Natuurlijk. Of course. Natuurlijk. Natuurlijk. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Goedemorgen. Ik wil graag iets opsturen per post. Natuurlijk, meneer. Waar moet het naartoe? Naar Amerika. Mag ik het pakket wegen? Ja, natuurlijk. Hier is het. Het weegt 250 gram. Wilt u het gewoon of per snelpost opsturen? Gewoon graag. Dan wordt het 14 euro en 50 cent. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? Our team of teachers have designed a free quiz to determine your actual learning level. So click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for you. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. 
And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Goedenavond. Heeft u nog een kamer? Jawel, meneer. Eén persoons of twee persoons? Twee persoons graag. En met een douche. Geen probleem. Wilt u morgenochtend gewekt worden? Ja, graag. Om acht uur alstublieft. Komt voor elkaar. Mag ik uw paspoort nog even zien? Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Goedenavond. Good evening. Goedenavond. Goedenavond. Kamer. Room. Kamer. Kamer. Eén persoons. Single. Eén persoons. Eén persoons. Twee persoons. Double. Twee persoons. Twee persoons. Met. With. Met. Met. Douche. Shower. Douche. Douche. Gewekt. To be woken up. Gewekt. Gewekt. Alstublieft. Please. Alstublieft. Alstublieft. Mag. May. Mag. Mag. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Goedenavond. Heeft u nog een kamer? Jawel, meneer. Eén persoons of twee persoons? Twee persoons graag. En met een douche. Geen probleem. Wilt u morgenochtend gewekt worden? Ja, graag. Om acht uur alstublieft. Komt voor elkaar. Mag ik uw paspoort nog even zien? This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free assessment and unlock lessons that are right for your learning level. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Dutch ebook before it's gone.